The Artisan Grade Brush is an absolute essential for grading terrain in SketchUp. I've been playing around with it on a project that I've been working on, and it just makes so many tasks easier, such as bringing terrain up to a certain elevation, like at a garage, um, getting that consistent edge right in line with the threshold of garage doors, um, sloping terrain at a defined slope, um, having them intersect a specific point in the model. It's really cool. Let's dive into it and I'll show you exactly how it works. So if we take a look at this garage right here, you can see the terrain is sloping down towards the garage doors. Now we want to reverse that. We want to have uh, the terrain coming up level to the threshold of each of these doors, uh, but also pitching away from the garage a little bit. So with the grade brush in um, Artisan, this is extremely easy. So we just activate the grade brush and I'm going to hover over uh, one of these thresholds here and just tap the control key. So we have a crosshair that appears and a lock symbol. Um, right now I have the slope set to zero just to demonstrate how this works. So I just brush back and forth over the terrain that I want to manipulate. And you can see it brings it right up to whatever Z location this crosshair intersects. So now I have this terrain perfectly graded um, to the garage. Now you'll also notice that it added detail as I went along. So uh, by default, the Topo Shaper extension creates these large triangulated meshes and the grade brush gives me the option to add detail. So if I didn't want to do that, I could just disable the slider right here and it wouldn't um, add detail. It would just keep whatever entities um, I'm manipulating as they are. It'll just move those, those points and edges. So you can change the detail size and the detail um, size is relative to your camera perspective. So see how the blue circle around my cursor remains relative to the screen. So as I zoom in and I'm working up in closer areas, um, that circle gets smaller relative to the model. But as I zoom out, uh, it gets larger relative to the model. So uh, just is a very intuitive way to uh, work on finer detail or kind of larger detail, larger brush strokes. In the backyard here, we actually have a pool hidden underneath this terrain. You can kind of see it here in x-ray mode. Um, so we want to bring the terrain down to meet it. So again, I'll hover over a point in my model and I'll tap the control key to set an elevation that I want to bring the terrain to. In this case, I will turn off the add detail feature. So uh, it just manipulates the entities, the existing entities that are in the model. And as I um, brush around here, we can see uh, the terrain is getting sunk down to match this point that's locked. Now, if I want the brush to act a little bit quicker, I could increase the strength and it'll bring the terrain down to that point a lot faster. So you can see how fast that is and it's it's so easy, you know, it just brings it exactly to the point that you want it. Now, what if you wanted to slope terrain? So here we have the front entrance and I wanna bring this terrain up, but I wanna slope it away from the house. So with the grade brush, you can actually set any slope you want. So uh, right down in the bottom right corner here, I could type in uh, 5% grade. You could also type it in in the form of a ratio uh, if you wanted to do that, but we'll just do a 5% grade and then you need to just define the direction of that slope. So with the grade brush active, we're going to hold control down this time, click once, and then we'll move the mouse in the direction we want that slope um, to occur. Click again. And now when I use this uh, grade brush, everything's going to be brought up to that slope in the direction I just defined where it will intersect with this uh, locked point here. And if you unlock the point, um, every time you click, it will use the new point that you clicked as the intersection. So you can either lock the intersection point by tapping control, or you can just have it temporarily lock every time you um, click. And if I want to change the direction of the slope again, control click and, you know, I can offset that slope a little bit like this and 
bring that terrain up a little bit onto the step. Now I have a sort of rounded slope going up to these steps here. Now, another thing that's really cool is if you don't know the actual slope you want, you can use uh, two points in your model to define the slope. So if I hold control and click to define the direction of the slope, I can also hold down shift in this mode. Uh, everything turns purple. And now what's happening is it's waiting for the direction of the slope, but also the height difference uh, in order to calculate the slope. So if I click on this contour line down here, we'll see the slope is now calculated at almost 15%, which is the slope between the, the point I clicked here and the point I clicked here. So it's just a, a really good way to get very accurate um, slope direction and an angle um, using points in your model. There's also this really cool visualization tool called uh, Display Slopes, and it will temporarily shade the faces of the terrain according to um, the slope of the face. So you can go into slope settings and change the colors and the range at which um, colors will change. So in this case, the bluer colors indicate a flatter area. So I might wanna come in here a, a little bit more and flatten this out and you know maybe do some more detail work over here in this corner. All right, guys, so that's an overview of the Artisan Grade Brush. Now, obviously, there's a ton more tools you get with Artisan, but if you want to check it out, you can use my affiliate link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.